Physical anthropologists focus on the biological history and diversity of humanity. Some choose to specialize in different areas and focus on particular questions. Physical anthropologists interested in human variation ask, what is the range of biological diversity within the human species, and how does it happen? Primatologists research answers to the question, what can biological study and observation of non-human primates tell us about human evolution? A paleoanthropologist asks, what do fossil records tell us about the ancestors and relatives of Homo sapiens? Answers to these questions are rooted in Charles Darwin's theory of evolution. In the 1830s, Darwin was part of a scientific expedition that exposed him to animal and plant life in various coastal areas around the world. Based on his observations and extensive background knowledge of science and history, Darwin eventually proposed his now famous theory of evolution by natural selection. Simply, Darwin argued that every species of plant life and animal life exhibits a range of variation. These variations may help an organism survive or die in its environment. If a variation, also referred to as a trait, is considered advantageous, the organism possessing it will survive to reproduce and pass those traits to offspring. If the variation is considered disadvantageous, the organism dies and will not reproduce. Generation after generation, only those organisms with traits that help them survive the environment will live to reproduce and eventually new species will emerge. However, Darwin did not have the answers to questions of how exactly these traits were passed on to offspring and why the variations occurred. Unbeknownst to Darwin, in 1866, a monk named Gregor Mendel published some of the information crucial to answering these questions. Mendel was a scientist who used the monastery garden to grow and study approximately 30,000 pea plants over 10 years. He identified specific traits of the plants, flower color, height, etc., and recorded how these traits were, or were not, passed along from one generation to the next. Based on this data, Mendel eventually identified specific patterns that are now referred to as Mendel's principles of inheritance.